Hey guys, Yankee here, and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on Pokemon Journeys episode 51 to 60. Um, I believe I said in the end of the last Pokemon Journeys video I did that I was going to start doing them in like 10, 10 episode chunks. Um, now, I just sort of chose 10 episodes because I thought it would be, it would be more manageable. Um, and somehow, it, it was perfect for this batch of episodes because we have like a nice little... A nice little arc basically contained in here surrounding Ash's Farfetch'd. Um, episode 51 starts off with Ash and his Farfetch'd like training and they meet a uh, like a new rival I suppose. Um, a character called Rinto uh, who has a Glade. Um, Ash and Rinto fight and Rinto's Glade beats Ash's Farfetch'd. And then about halfway through these 10 episodes we get another far-fetched sort of centric episode where um, Ash go uh, travel to oh boy what is the region that is an X and Y I don't remember uh, I'm gonna look that up real quick um, so anyway they travel there to train with one of the elite four members Wickstrom um, and we get like a nice little episode there where uh, Kalos, Kalos is the name of the region. Um, they travel to Kalos to train with uh, Wickstrom and to become like knights, right? Um, his, he's got like a knight theme. And so they're wearing armor, they're training, and we get like, um, like Farfetch'd and Ash sort of like connect, I guess. Um, like they grow closer. We see there's a moment where like Farfetch drops his leak down like a pit and Ash dives in to get it and then Farfetch helps him get out. Um, so they get closer. And then at the very end of this batch of episodes, episode 60, um, we get a rematch against Rinto, um, who has now join, joined, who is now, uh, well, he didn't join the world tournament. He's now in the same rank as Ash, so they can battle in the tournament. Um, so we get a rematch, um, Glade versus Farfetch'd, they fight, Ash and Farfetch'd have gotten closer, and then Farfetch'd evolves into Surfetch'd. And it was pretty good. I somehow perfectly worked out that in these ten episodes we got like this nice, perfect little, like, little arc contained in it, um, which I don't think will likely happen again. But I don't know, maybe they have been making these in, like, little 10-episode, like, batches, I suppose. So we'll see. Maybe in the next 10 episodes we'll have something similar. But uh, I'm not expecting it. Um, so that was a good... Well, not a good chunk. Three episodes of this 10-episode batch was all about Farfetch'd. Um, and the rest of the episodes are just kind of throwaway. Um, not all of them. Like, there's a few that are important, but... Eh, important. Um... Like, it's, this show is very episodic, and sort of one of my problems with it is uh, Ash and Go both have these really big goals. Ash is doing his world tournament to fight Leon and try and become, like, world champion. Uh, Go is trying to catch all the Pokemon, eventually catch Mew. Um, and one of the things that um, the old anime had, like, Ash wanted to be... The Pokemon Master, whatever that is. Um, but he had, like, short-term goals as well, right? I gotta get the first gym badge. Okay, and then we'll do, like, a few episodes in between, and now we're going for the second gym badge. So it felt like we were always, like, taking steps, and we kind of have that with Ash's tournament. His ranking keeps going up, but it doesn't feel like that. Um, I don't know if I can explain it very well, but... Each, each badge is an accomplishment, and you've, like, all right, we're one step closer, whereas it feels like the, the way ranks rise in the World Tournament is just sort of arbitrary. Like, when he beat Rinto, he went up, like, oh, what was it, like, 247 to, like, 180? Um, so it doesn't feel like we really... We took a step forward because it's just, like... it. I don't know. It doesn't feel the same. And Go, he doesn't have, like, any short-term goals, right? It's not like, I'm going to try and finish the Kanto Pokedex because I'm in Kanto right now. Uh, nope. 
he's just going around catching anything. And it's not even like, I want to try and catch 100 Pokemon. Like, that would be a short-term goal that every time he caught a Pokemon, it feels like we're taking steps to. Um, so yeah, like, some short-term goals would be nice, and it would help... It would make those sort of one-off episodes... Um, like, feel like steps towards something, um, instead of just being most of the show. Um, so, next up in my little notes here, Go. Go has a, Go gets a bunch of stuff this, uh, these episodes. Uh, the biggest one probably being Suicune. Um, we get an episode here, I think it was like, I don't know, 52, 53, um, where some poachers are poisoning water. So Suicune comes and, like, purifies it. Uh, and they keep doing this to weaken Suicune so they can capture him and, like, sell him. Um, and the episode is basically Ash and Go stepping in, trying to help. Uh, and Suicune basically letting him, letting Go, uh, catch him in the end. Uh, but not sticking around, really. Like, he is now Go's Pokemon, but he's also off doing his own thing. Um... And I thought that episode was okay. This is, uh, like... I know people. there were some people upset about this episode. I thought it was fine. Um, I don't know. It's weird. Um, the episode was good. I like... Like, Go's gonna have to catch all these legendary Pokemon anyway. So, like, one of the legendary dogs is a fine place to start. Um, I really want to see him get Zapdos. Because we've already sort of teased at that, because we had the episode where they, like, they did the raid battle, and then Go tried to catch it, failed, and it flew off, um, so I'd like to get back to that soon, like, maybe that would be a good legendary Pokemon for him to catch next, um, but I don't need that right away, but also I don't know how long the show's gonna be, <laughs> so, uh, we'll see, we'll see how things go, um, during the Wickstrom, uh, episode, where, Ash and Farfetch were getting closer. Uh, Go brought his Scyther there, and he evolved it, so now he has a uh, Scizor, uh, which is cool. Um, and then towards the end of this batch of episodes, we had Go catch uh, Grookey. So now Go has all three of the um, Galar starters. Uh, what has he got? He has Cinderace, which is the fully evolved rabbit one. What the heck is it called? Uh, score bunny. Uh, then he has Sobble, and now he has uh, Grookey. So that's good. It, like, Go is making progress. His Pokemon is Pokemon. His Pokedex is filling out. Um, last character here, uh, Koharu. She is becoming more prominent. She's not. I don't know if I would call her a main character yet, but she had a couple episodes in this. Um, one where they go to Galar and they go into like the little the like sparkly forest, um, and we get like a nice episode with uh, Galarian Ponyta and Galarian Rapidash, um, and that's all focused on her and her Eevee. Um, and then we get another episode uh, a few later that gives us a little bit about um, the female assistant at. Um, what is it? The Sakuragi Labs or whatever. I don't remember what her name is. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Ah, uh, da, da 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 Oh, that's the English name. One second. Kikuna. Um, so we get a, an episode focused on her. It's okay. Like, I don't know. I'd rather have episodes focused on um, the actual professor himself. I don't know if we've gotten one of them yet. Um, but, like, his lab assistants, I, I don't know, they're fine. I don't know if she even has a Pokemon, Kikuna does. Um, I can't recall. But anyway, that's basically the gist of these ten episodes. Um, like, there were more episodes here that I didn't talk about. Um, and, like, Team Rocket shows up every once in a while. The, the, what is it, Choodle? The little turtle from, uh, Gen 8? He appears again. Um, I wish that Team Rocket was actually allowed to just catch Pokemon in this show. Because um, I like that little Choodle. He's appeared like three or four times now. Just keep him. Just let him hang around. Um, give him to James or Jesse or something. Um, especially coming off of me having watched a little bit of Sun and Moon. 
I like that Jesse and James have teams in that. Um, teams. They have, like, a Pokemon each. Um, but I, I really miss that for Team Rocket in this. Um, but yeah, Team Rocket also hasn't been appearing much, which is fine. Uh, and that's basically it. Uh, these episodes were pretty good. I liked everything with the Farfetch'd. Um, some of the one-off episodes were better than others. Um, but on the whole, this was a good batch of episodes, and I'm actually pretty excited to see what's to come. Um, and I'm also interested to see, like, the Pokemon anime is there to advertise games, and I'm wondering, like, what they're going to do to sort of, like, advertise other ones. Um, like, po the new Pokemon Snap game came out not long ago. I wonder if they're going to have, like, a photography episode or something, or if they're just going to, like gloss over it um like uh the diamond and pearl remakes remakes in quotes there uh are coming out later this year i wonder if they're gonna do anything for that i wonder if we'll get like a few episodes where we go to Sinnoh and maybe don shows up um so we'll see uh anyway that's gonna do it for this episode i will see you guys next time